Hello everyone, my name is Leila Kazim and I'm a presenter on BBC Radio 4's The Food Programme and a food and travel content creator. And today I'm here with Chef Franz, who is the chef at the Austrian Embassy and a chef and co-owner of Austrian catering company Schmeckmobil. And today Franz is going to show us how to make a sack of tort so that you can replicate this at home. I'm going to show you a slightly simplified version um, of the Sacher Tort, but I'm going to show you a simpler way of combining all the ingredients um, so you don't have too many dishes to do and you don't need a second mixer. Okay. So if you want to start on the butter and right. get the melted. If you had to choose just one key thing that makes a really good Sacher Tort, what key element would that be? Uh, real butter. And that's a lot of eggs. It's what provides it, um, if you don't use any baking powder, so the eggs is what gives it the lift. Oh, okay, so uh, the egg whites, and that's why you're exactly. separating. Exactly, the egg white gives it the lift. With you. And then the egg yolks make it nice and rich. Good, so as soon as the butter is fully melted, you can turn that one off, okay. and then you add the chocolate inside. Okay. So with the chocolate egg whites, thing. obviously if you've got a fancy kitchen machine, you literally just put it in and switch it on. While this is mixing, we can add now. Oh, yeah, this the, looks so... You can see all the chocolate is nicely melted. Oh, it looks great. So we can, uh, we can add some flavoring, some vanilla. Okay. And that's just vanilla that's extract. That's just vanilla extract, yeah. yeah. And we add the egg yolks in. Okay, so you can okay. see my egg whites are starting to yes. be fluffy, so we're gonna add the sugar now. So what we're gonna need to do is get this egg whites into this, add the flour, without losing all the air. Okay. So that's why I'm having a, quite a big bowl. That is a big bowl. Because it just makes it easier to mix without getting the mess everywhere. With you. Okay. And I also prepared a cake tin already. So I just have the cake tin, just flour, and uh, butter then floured. Do you want to do the egg white test and put it on your head? <laughs> I mean, I, I trust in you enough. I think to, we skip. Uh... I think we skip that one. <laughs> It's a bit easier to mix. It's a bit easier to mix when it's actually not that solid. Okay. Because we're not making a meringue. We literally just. So then, want how would someone know if it's done with the stiff peaks? Like exactly. This? Okay. That's it. Yeah, I mean, I think. I mean, I'm not going to put it on my head, but yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna put the chocolate and the egg yolks first. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we fold in. Get all Whoa. our egg whites. Um, so if you get it too hard, it's, you're going to struggle to fold it in nicely and then okay. you keep folding it for so long okay. that uh, everything collapses. So, okay. technique for folding, tell, tell me Franz, is it like a scoop? Yeah, exactly. And then so you just go nicely, yeah, exactly, shoot. that's yeah. the way, yeah. So you go nicely around the rim and then go underneath and then you just come out. So you don't want to stir because yeah, then you're getting rid of it, the yeah. air. Just literally, you fold it in. And then if you've got a great assistant like I am, <laughs> He will sift the flour oh, this for is you great. while you're folding in. Okay. So you keep folding in that flour. And if you don't have a great assistant? Um, you just do it in steps. So okay. you always like so sift a bit on top, fold uh, okay. it in, sift a bit on top, fold with it you, in. With you, with you. And I guess you need to keep folding until exactly. all the you keep flour has until all the flour is in. been mixed in. Yeah. So and now it looks like a sort of so it's like a lovely combined. mousse. It's, it's very light. Yeah, really good. You can good. see how airy it is. Here we go, let's get this into the tin. I mean, so that was makes, really This easy. makes a good size cake. So like you've got 10 eggs and this gives you about 12 nice pieces. Yeah. And you're so right, it was really quick. So we're gonna put this in a preheated oven, 180 on fan assisted, 15 minutes. So it seals the top uh -huh. and then um, and that stops the air escaping. Okay. So and then the air that's trapped inside is what makes it nice and lift and nice and fluffy. Okay. And then how will you know when the cake is done? Uh, we will probe it. I just get a toothpick uh, okay. in the middle of the cake. And if it comes out clean. If it comes out clean, it's done. I know the tips. There we go. <laughs> Franz, it looks magnificent, Good. but I feel like it is not yet finished. There's something missing. Okay. <laughs> and what is happening next? We need apricot jam on the inside and on the outside, and then we place it with chocolate. So what are you going to do? You take some jam. I mean, that is more than some jam, that's a lot of jam. <laughs> it does need a lot of jam. And does it have to be apricot? It needs to be apricot. Really? That's the traditional? That's the traditional. No, no yeah. strawberry, no raspberry, guys. No. I've got a feeling there's an exciting part happening now. Franz, what have you got for me? Booze. Okay. 
Right, booze. The opinions is split. Use rum, Austrian rum, or schnapps. And what is your opinion on the matter? And yeah. we cook it with the okay. rum. Okay. Don't be shy, because we're gonna boil it, so the alcohol comes out anyway, and it just um, you just get the caramelly okay. rum flavor behind it. Okay, so we bring this to the boil. This is actually one of the cheats I'm going to show you ah, today. Ah, okay. Because the original doesn't have any butter in the glaze. The original, you would boil sugar to a certain point, add the chocolate, temper that whole thing, right. glaze the cake, and then hope it comes out nice and shiny. I see. Obviously, if you're a professional pastry chef, it will come out nice and shiny. But of course, that's but quite a difficult for thing use, for a home cook. Too complicated. So, we're so just this will give us melt the, the butter down, the shine. put the chocolate in there. It gives us the shine, and it actually comes out less sweet. And in the meantime, I'm gonna cut my cake in half. A trick to get it back exactly the same position you had it before, because obviously not everybody might be cutting it exactly. Oh, that's so clever! Top and bottom. So when you then lift it off. put the top when back on. When you reassemble yeah. it again, you know it's going to be exact in that position. I feel like you've done this before, Franz. Once or twice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so you're just waiting until you start seeing the bubbles and then take off straight away? Exactly. Or do you, you want to cook make sure it down a bit? Cook it down a tiny bit okay. because we've added so much alcohol inside. We want to make sure it evaporates a bit. <laughs> okay, okay. So we put a good amount on the cake itself. Look at that, and I suppose it all soaks through the nice sort of exactly. parts and, and of the sponge. And boiling it actually does help it soak in better as well. Okay. Okay, and then we just add it. With this pick. clever tip, excellent. Pick on pick, any more. And now we just place it. And then again, um, any leftovers, just put them back in a Okay, in a, so in a you've got the jam glass. on the inside, yeah. and, and then you the use the rest yeah. as a glaze on the so outside. It, and it seals the cake nicely, so okay. it doesn't it doesn't dry out and it actually moistens the cake a bit. And we're gonna melt the butter down and then add the chocolate. Chocolate going into yep, the melted into butter. The butter. Just keep slowly stirring Ooh. it there. There we go, so the chocolate is almost melted. Oh yeah, look at that, glossy. And we're ready to place. Um, I find it easier to just, um, just pour it in the middle and then just Go slightly around the rim. That is a thing of beauty. Oh my goodness. There we go. So we just let it run down the sides to make sure it's nicely covered. Oh man. All I want to do is just dive into this now, but I'm guessing you need to wait. You need to set, <laughs> you need to let this set now. Okay. So the chocolate is And so set. how, so how much time are we talking about, Franz? Ooh. Do I have well, to wait? On a nice cool space, um, it should be ready to go in an hour. Okay. But again, just about do it's that. best the next day. But I don't think we're going to make that. No, long. I don't think so. <laughs> Let's be realistic. You can see the sides are all nicely covered. Yeah, that looks fantastic. Uh, but it's not very even on the top. Okay. So, what I'm going to do just give it a few small knocks. Oh my god, that is cool. And now it's perfectly flat on the top as well. That completely smoothed just, out yeah. at the top and with those few taps. And all the excess chocolate is gone. Wow. And that's ready to go. So I'm going to put this in a cool place mm. now to let it set. No. <laughs> it is time for the bit we have all been very patiently waiting for. Franz's succotor is ready to slice. What a beauty! There you go. I get the diet size one. That is so gorgeously, uh, well, I mean, it looks great. Oh, gosh. Now, the Austria classically served with some schlag. And schlag is? Whipped cream. Okay. Ready to have a try? <laughs> yes, absolutely. Am I ready? Gosh, I've been waiting for this, right. Oh! Oh, that's so good with the jam. It's nice, isn't it? Oh, that is fantastic. Excellent texture. Um, I haven't had Saka Talk before, so this is the first time. And I love that texture. It's like a light, kind of between a sponge and a biscuit. And the jam in it is really a killer for me. Delicious. And this cake really holds for like a week mm. easily. And actually, it gets better the second day. Absolutely delicious, Franz. Thank you so much for taking us through how to make your version of a sucker tort. I hope you all have a really good time giving this a go at home yourselves. I certainly am. Yeah. Great Austrian bake-off. <laughs>